Hello everybody, welcome back. For my last, my last demo, I thought that we'd create a simple tag. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some cream paint with a touch of, of brown just for my tag. And I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm just going to blend that like so. And I'm then going to add this to my tag just to give me a nice blend. Just apply this over the tag like so. Just apply this over the tag and then what I'll do is I'll add this actual tag to an MDF tag just to give it some stability. So I will add it over the top. So if you add that cream paint you get a nice blend of paint. So we've got a lovely tag, a lovely colour and you can add as much of the cream as you want. So we'll just wipe this area just so that it's nice and clear so that we don't have any mess everywhere. So we'll just wipe that up, move that out of the way, bring that in like so. And then we're just going to give that a nice dry. And I love just from a simple two tone of paint with that cream and that brown, it just gives a nice layer of colour. I love that. Really nice layer. So just dry both sides and it doesn't matter what the reverse looks like because I'm just going to add this to an MDF tag anyway so that's that's really not a problem. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to use Olga's Panache stencil. I love saying that, Panache. And I've got ink everywhere. Paint, look, this is what happens when you create. I end up with a load of paint all over me because it's on the tins and everywhere. So just give that, let's give my container a wipe. So I'm just going to add some cream paint and I'm going to bray that onto the stencil. I just think cream and browns, you know, sort of, they, they go lovely together. So I'm just going to give that a spritz with water and then I'm going to add that to the background. And I think I'm going to add it this way. I just changed my mind then at the last minute. So I'm going to add it that way. And then I'm going to dab with a piece of kitchen roll and just allow that paint to sit nicely on there just while it takes effect, just while the, the paint soaks in to the substrate. And then we get a lovely little print. So just give that a wipe. Just move that out of the way. And then we'll just wipe up this little bit of excess paint. Move that to one side. And then what I want to do is take this up a little level. Just give that, and I love that combination of that touch of cream. Really nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the text stamp from Stamp Set 332. So we haven't used this one yet. And I think it's a good idea on the last demo, just add some parts of the stamp. And I'm going to use this as is. So I'll use this as is. So we're using Ground Espresso Vintage Photo. So actually we will add this to an acrylic block. Just might make it a little bit easier to handle with it just being on the thinner side. Let's just move some of these bottles out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm now adding Ground Espresso Distress Oxide Ink to that stamp set and then just add some background stamping. That text stamp is just beautiful. So just add some random text stamping around the background just keep inking and there's just something about that chocolate and, and cream colour. It's, it's lovely. I really love it. Just add that. And I'm just going to keep going down the tag. There's something classy about text. I think text stamps are so versatile. And it doesn't matter what text stamp you've got, they always look so different. Just think that looks lovely. 
Yeah, I really like that text stamping. I should have used that before. It's really handy text stamp, that is. Really love it. So what I'm going to do now is I've got this half circle that I'm going to add here, like so, but it's white. I don't want it white, I want it cream. So we're going to paint that half circle in cream. So let's give it a coat of paint of cream paint after we've just cleaned our work surface, just so we can wipe it all over again. But I just decided then I wanted it to be cream. I didn't want it to be white. It doesn't, it doesn't work with our project. So just give that. And then I'm just going to give this a dry, just give both substrates a little dry. That text is lovely. You see, I've got so many stamp sets to use. I haven't even scratched the surface yet. Not even scratched the surface. There's so many things that you can do with these stamp sets. In fact, I'm going to add it this side, just so that a bit of that text shows. So what I can do is take this text stamp once again and just add a little bit more text to the top of the tag like so just add a little bit more to the top because then this will go here like this oh yes i like that i love that just lovely very classy and what i'm going to do is adhere that to my background like so i have to say i do love that text stamps i, I physically could do so many more demos with these stamps there's so much i could still do and what i'm going to do then is use the same text stamp and add a little bit of text just to the bot to the base of that circle just here oh doesn't it look classy with the cream and the the brown look at the state of my fingers that it's all over my fingers and what i've got here is i've got the bumblebee and i've cut him out because you've seen me stamping before, so I'd already got this one spare, so I thought there's no point wasting. And he's actually stamped onto one of the backgrounds that we brayed off in one of the earlier demos. So just to, sh to prove that we don't chuck away the extra backgrounds that we create, we do actually still use those as well. So just add this, just bend that slightly. Bend that. There we go. That adhesive will dry clear. And what I want to do is I've got a paper clip here. And with that paper clip, have we got my blending tool? Let me just check if we've got my blending tool. Yes, we have. We've got alcohol ink, and I'm using ginger alcohol ink just to colour this paper clip, just so it's less less silver and more coffee bronzy brown color just so it ties in with our project a little bit more just wipe that up and then what i'm thinking is we adhere this here like so and then i'm going to adhere the b over the top yes i love that so just add this over the top and sometimes it, it's it's fun to use sort of items, household items, office stationery, and combine what you've got with all your stamping. It just brings another fun element to your design. So what I'm going to do then, just bring that back in line. I'm then going to add my B, like so. Just add a really good blob of adhesive. And then I'll just take my scissors and just add the B inside the paper clip. Like so. I just think that's a quirky touch just to add him inside the paper clip. And I just want to make sure that that adheres before I remove the scissors. Just make sure that sits in there perfectly. I just love that. And what we can do then is we can just add another couple of elements. So bring in the 
the bee stamp and what I'm going to do is use this element here I'm either going to use fly or bee I might use bee this time because I've used the fly before so I'm going to use bee so just move this out of the way and then bring in a piece of my calico which I'm going to stamp onto and then I'm going to stamp with black and I'm going to use the stamp as is and you've also got the background element as well you could add some of that background element which we could stamp into the background on the tag so just stamp B on there and we can cut that out so we just cut our little text out and that, so we've done a really good mix of projects just to show how versatile these stamps are we've done mixed media projects we've done a book cover we've done cards now we're doing a tag it just gives you lots of variety that with combined with the design team samples it's lovely it just gives lots of variety and i'm going to add that b element here like so just add that b text just to give it another little element like there and then I'm just going to get one of my index clips because I like adding the index clips just to add an index clip and it's nice because a tag's a nice size project to do if you don't want to do too much on a project and you want to start small then start on a tag because then you can just create a tag book you can just create a tag book and add your tags to your book and just on the back of the tag add what techniques you've used it just gives a different a different way or a different approach to your to your projects especially if you're just starting out and you don't know where to start so just wipe my hands just so that we've got that nice and clear i've just added some cream paint to that i'm just going to add some delicate splatters not too many that's it and you see we've got other elements here as well you see I could add this circular element you see I like that as well so we're just going to add this this is just a you know the MDF tags that you get this is the reinforcer this is the reinforcer from the tag so I'm using that reinforcer so we're using leftover bits that's all we're doing we're using those leftover bits because we shouldn't bin them and I have so many bits left over from doing projects, either for her chander or Facebook Lives. Sometimes it's nice to use those leftover touches. I like doing that. Just add that. Just make sure that paint's dry. And then what we can do is we can bring in that text stamp again. Just add some of that text to that circular reinforcer. Just add some text to that. Perfect. And then we can just add that element here. And this can be your tag finished. And this is just using leftover bits and pieces that we've had during all the demonstrations. I just love that. And then you can just add a little bit of twine to the top of your tag, which I will do once I've added it to an MDF tag. And there's your tag finished. Just love this text stamp here. I think that's lovely. And the fact that we've got this half circle really spotlights the B that then's got the extra textural element from the paper clip and then a little B sentiment on the text. And then you've got Olga's stencil in the background, which just gives that added layer of detail. And that's my final demo for the weekend wow i'd just like to thank everybody for joining me and for your support thank you to all those that have purchased and i'd also like to say a big thank you to the design team and hachanda for making it all possible thanks very much bye